Well, you went through a lot of stuff over the way you look when, you know, I, I saw your stand up and read stuff about, you said about when you did television and yeah. that whole like image of beauty or even just being a woman or a female or anything in show business. I mean, let's talk about how hideous that is. So hideous and ridiculous. Like when I did TV, I did a sitcom and um, they were uh, so adamant about the fact that I was uh, overweight and they wanted me to lose weight and I saw I lost a tremendous amount of weight very quickly and it's so ludicrous now to think about it because I was really playing myself so it was like I was too fat to be me it's like yeah. dumb so it's just insane all that stuff and then like when I um, when, a, when I did my first screen test for my TV show the, one of the executives came over and she said please never wear anything that shows off your stomach Never oh, show your man. stomach in public again, please. Oh, never. Oh, man. And I was so how did you how did you out. how did you like you know go on from that kind of like it's so it's so humiliating. It's horrible. They seem to really thrive on humiliating people. It's really horrible. Well, I just became very anorexic, and then I like got. But to, I know. mean, now I mean, how'd you get here to where you're just well, like, now, hey, this is me, and now I just now I revel in the comfort that I have. You know, like I. Um, like, and I'm doing this new TV show now, and so I'm like naked all the time, which you're is great. You're naked in it? All oh my the time. God. See, I don't know, how would you be okay doing that? I, you're, you're really different from me. Yeah, I'm really different. I mean, I'm, I'm really okay with it, everything about that kind of stuff now, like body image, because to me, like... Were you ever not? Um, yeah, when I was younger, for sure. Mm -hmm. I was super shy mm -hmm. and super, like, guarded. But now I think that if I can show off my body... Like w women who are, you know, in their, you know, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, they can look at me and like feel better about themselves. Like I think they'll feel, can feel good. Like I think if you f see a woman yeah. who is not afraid to just be naked, mm -hmm. and they're not perfect, they're, you know, whatever. It's like really empowering. So. I think it is too. I mean, you know, I, I'm proud of you. I think it's awesome that you you would do it. I could never mm -hmm. ever do it without having to like you know, kill everyone who saw it immediately <laughs> after. I'm not even okay to be naked with myself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, it's like, it's, you know, you're a little bit younger than me, so maybe it's a generational thing too, but it was just so devastating. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know that I'll ever get over it. I don't, I don't know if my, any of my generation will ever get over either the 60s, you know, the whole Thing that the 60s did to us with uh, advertising images and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I think it's great that you are, first it's amazing that you're okay to be naked, yeah. and second to like uh, be okay with the whole concept of being naked and do it. Yeah, well I did a show last year where I was doing burlesque in it, so I was like mm -hmm. naked in the show. And I was naked every night, 62 performances in a row. And it really helped, like it really sort of cured my sort of constant fear of my body and constant mm -hmm. need to diet and um, I don't know if anybody does this this is a stupid thing that I do is anytime I meet anybody or talk to anybody woman or man I uh, first thing I think is are they thinner than me <laughs> like, really are they thinner than me okay like then I'm gonna proceed however wow. it's like my eating disorder and my body image are so like uh, they're so alive in me, mm -hmm. you know, and then I have to do really Me too, but things. I mean, then you go out and get naked. I mean, that's just, I can't. Well, that's what, how I get over it, is that I, I, oh. I um, my cure is to go into worlds like burlesque and to get naked and to hang out with voluptuous women who love their bodies and who are, you know, totally okay with being curvaceous. And Well, if you were like 20 or 30 pounds uh, fatter than you are, would you still do it? I think so. I think I might be, um, I think I, I, I would be even more popular. <laughs> Burlesque oh. is an incredible world where women, voluptuous women do very, very well. So, What do you think that's about? That's about celebrating. Just like, we have like lived in so much shame and, and tortured ourselves so much dieting and being in pain over our bodies. When we can actually like celebrate our bodies, it's such a party. It's such a celebration, which is why I love the world of burlesque because it is really a world that is all women, if for a women audience, it's not for men oh, at all. Uh -huh. It really isn't. I mean, oh, I could probably guys. get naked in front of women. I probably could do that. You could do burlesque because it's like a whole, it's like a mostly women and gay guys audience and they just want to love you. And they just want to like, through watching a woman get naked, they, they sort of um, heal themselves. They yeah, heal I can the see pain that. Yeah. that they have over their own bodies. And it's really, it's beautiful. What happens as soon as you bring a straight man in there, though? Does that make you want to, like, fold up the tent and run? No, 
no, not at all. I mean, it's really, I don't know, it's a, it's a beautiful world. It's, it's like a really healing world. And that's why I, I love burlesque. It really helped me to feel exciting and beautiful and sexy and uh, not want to, you know, totally go on a crazy lemon juice cleanse or something. <laughs> You're really a groundbreaker. You you really are. I I admire you and everything you've done. I think well, that girl she's a first all the way down. Well, thank you. So you're gonna do? Why are you gonna do a reality show though? That that's kind of freaky, isn't it? Kind of reality. Why wouldn't you do another sitcom? That's what everybody asked me too. So I just want to ask you that. Well, this is really good. This kind of a, this situation, like the the show that I'm doing, the reality show, is really a sitcom. It's what's really great about it is that we, uh, we did the show, we sort of made it, and it's not like any traditional reality show where people follow you around. It's very, very scripted. It's very mm -hmm. um, put together. So it's like a sitcom, and it's like my parents and my friends, and in this world, it's, it's um, to me, it's so uh, unique that it really is sort of a new kind of sitcom. So I don't really view That's it cool. as a reality. It's very cool. That's cool. So this will be, is it your first time back on television yes. since your since I did All old... American Girl um, many years ago? Yeah. So wow. Yeah, it'll be my first time, and I'm excited because I, I love the show, and I think it's really great. Well, and you have really more smart. control this time. Yes, I yeah. have. I'm a producer on it. Finally, yeah. you know, I'm actually like, you know, there. So I, I have lots of control, and VH1 is amazing because they really give you so much creative control. They let you do whatever you want, which is really amazing so I, cool. I love that that's quite a switch isn't yeah it? it's totally different yeah totally different whole new day it's well, not quite as much money as it used to be oh no but, but maybe it's better because we i think people get more freedom and less money which is always well, good if you're an yeah. artist yeah and then you can you can do different stuff like i think television has really changed too so it's like so much freer and so much more fun. I, I'm, I'm really happy there well i'm glad that you're back on television thank you um i wanted to talk to you about uh you know uh, George Carlin, who just, he died last last week. First of all, it was so shocking. I know, he was so young. What a wonderful guy. I mean, he was really um, influential for me, just watching stand-ups, and he was so smart and, and so um, political, but at the same time, like, he wasn't polarizing. Like, people, <laughs> he was political. It's, like, really incredible to be political and not polarizing. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, totally different. Like, it's a different era really, in a lot of ways. But he was just so, so brilliant, and I really loved him. Let's talk about stand-up. Like, what made you decide that you wanted to do that in your life? I just knew. Like, I watched people like George Carlin or Richard Pryor, um, and people uh, just, like, even like Joan Rivers, who was mm -hmm. really um, almost not, she was doing more like Tonight Show stuff. She was really, she was, I remember seeing her on Saturday Night Live and doing stand-up, and it was really incredible. So, you know, the, these, these people really impressed me and moved me, and when I saw them, I realized that's what I was. Like, I, I would see, like, Steve Martin, and I go, oh, well, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to grow up to be, and that's sort of how it came about. It wasn't really so, super, like, it was more like, oh, I, just, I recognize that as going to be my job. Because I started pretty young. I started when I was 14, so... 60. And and you were you were always like super political in your stand up though. I think it just that sort of developed as I became a more political person. Like more mm -hmm. in my 30s, I became more political and more um, interested and aware of what was going on. And and um, I was always doing a lot of gay gay stuff. So doing a lot of gay benefits in the 80s and 90s. And so I was always in this the sort of queer world. 